So Laurel Canyon was all about collaboration, um, sharing, creating. So I thought you might like a little insight into one of those collaborative days that I just had in the studio. I had asked my friends, the Gibson Brothers, to come in and sing with me on one of my songs for my CD, Get Together, which they did amazingly. Then we decided to try our hand at a folk song. And we recorded everything as we went. Um, we had never sung the song before, never sung it together, definitely. We chose Blowing in the Wind, uh, Peter, Paul, and Mary version. Off camera, you will hear my manager sort of putting the song in context for us so that we could bring the emotion into the words better. Um, what we created actually ended up on the CD, and you will hear that and see that at the end of this clip. I hope you enjoy this little insight. I hope it touches you, and I hope to see you next time. And how many deaths will it take till he knows that too many people have died? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer. I can't hear over this guitar, so. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, it sounded pretty good to me hearing It's um, sounding folky. Yeah. It's sounding, that's not a bad thing. No, that's a good thing. <laughs> Just it's all folked up. Yeah. <laughs> folky. We try it once a little more of an aggressive rhythm. Just one thought to put in your brain is just remember the relevance of this song and who and when they were singing it at that time, who they were singing it to. I mean, you're, the first time when they came out, this seems, you know, people diminish this song as lightweight. But think about singing that to a crowd of people facing the draft and bodies coming back every Friday. Right. Yeah. Back when they showed bodies coming back yeah. on the tarmac. I mean, it was a, you know, they talked about it. They said it was chilling being in a crowd when they sang this song. I bet. Well, it's interesting how this song is very timely, and so it's get together. Yeah. You know, it speaks to this generation as well. well think about you've got a draft age kid now. Huh? I know it. You think about that. Think about if you're singing to a crowd and you're going, "It's my son's number, lottery number coming up next week." Yeah. Right. So that's some heavy stuff, buddy. Because we, I, you, you, we always we have a tendency to go back and look at the '60s stuff as fluff, but it wasn't in context. No. Why, that's why Woodstock was such a reaction. It's escapism. We're trying different men to figure. here. So Big Brother's happy with it. How many roads must a man walk down before you call? Yes, and how many times must the cannonballs fly before? 